today uh, because we are retelling we're doing a dramatic interpretation of Wombat Stew by Marcia Vaughan. Are you guys excited? <laughs> Me too. Are you guys excited? Yay! Oh gosh we're gonna have so much fun this afternoon. So a couple of things that we're going to do is we need your help. I don't know who's read Wombat Stew? Yeah well you know how silly the dingo is. He has forgotten his lines a little bit. So he's going to need your help today to sing our wonderful little verse here. Can we all practice together before we get started? You ready? Here we go. <coughs> Wombat stew. Wombat stew. Chewy Wombat stew. Good job. Well done, everybody. Now, before we get started, did you guys know that today we're broadcasting from the lands of the Awabakal people, the Awabakal nation. Well, Captain Starlight's learning a lot, I have to say, having been from outer, outer space and all. And we are going to be using some wonderful Awabakal words in our dramatic retelling today. All right? Are we ready to hear the story of Wombat Stew? Yes. It was a warm, sunny day in the bush. All the bush friends were out and about. <laughs> Burramabun. Mm, what kind of animal do you think Burramabun might be? Let's have a look. Mm. What do you guys reckon? What kind of animal do you reckon Burramabun might be? Oh, this guy. This guy here. A platypus. That's right. Oh, if you guessed that online, well done. And he was down in the billabong collecting worms. Bai bai, hmm, what kind of animal is bai bai? Oh. Oh. Any guesses? An ostrich. Not an ostrich, thank you. Not an ostrich. An emu, that is correct. That is, oh, that's correct. And the emu was meandering through the trees and gossiping with her friends. Actually, she just told me a secret just then. Naruta, hmm, what kind of animal is Naruta? Oh, well done. A blue tongue lizard, that's right, was rustling through the leaves and was lying in the sun. And then there was Kugunguri. Who is Kugunguri? Searching for yummy ants to crunch and munch. What do you think might like to eat ants? I'm not dressed yet. That's all right, Kagungari, take your time. Oh, I've got to do it. Can well you... done, Em. It's an echidna. That is correct. Do I have to come out? You can maybe just your head out, just to say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> but where was their friend, the lazy old wombat? Wombat is an awabakal word, you guys. How cool is that? All right, on the banks of a billabong, the very clever Murunkai. What's a Murunkai, do you think? Did you guys see that? What kind of animal is a Murunkai? Yes, a dingo. A dingo, that's correct. Look, there he is. <laughs> he's not silly, he's really clever. So clever. Yeah, he's very clever. He's not silly at all. And he had caught himself a wombat. Oh no. He decided to make, what's he gonna make? Hmm. Wombat stew. Wombat stew. Gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy. Wombat stew. Oh no. Barmaban 
heard the dingo and came ambling up the bank. What? What? What's all this? What's all this water here? Well, I'm brewing up a gooey, chewy, yummy, brewy wombat stew. Oh, do you know what will make it really gooey? Is billabong mud. Blobs of mud? Why, that would make it gooey. <laughs> right on, in it goes. So Baramabun scooped up big blobs of mud with his tail. Oh. With his tail. <laughs> and tipped them into the billy can. And around the bubbling billy, Murakai danced and sang, Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, gooey, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Oh no! <sighs> Welting out from the shade of the iron box came Bai Bai. After hearing the commotion, she arched her graceful neck over the brew and fluttered her feathers. What have you here, Dingo? Well, I'm brewing up a gooey wombat stew. I haven't tried it before, but I think it will taste good. Mm. You know what might make it taste uh, better? Ooh, if what? it was chewy, and I know what would fix that right up. A few feathers. My feathers would be chewy. Right on, in they go. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. So into the gooey brew, Bai Bai dropped her finest feathers. Around and around the bubbling billy, Morinkai danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew. Gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. After watching all that had been going on, old Naruta, the lizard, came sliding off her sun-soaked rock. Silly wombat, dingo. You can't have wombat stew without any flies in it. Oh, there are a lot of things to be said about flies. Mm -hmm. She stuck out her bright blue tongue. Oh! <laughs> Wow, that is a long tail. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, there's the flies. Wow, thank you. Murankai was so excited that all the animals were helping him to make the most delicious wombat stew. Wombat stew, wombat stew. Gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Oh, very good, everyone. Well done. Up through the red dust popped Karingi. Is that me? That's you, Captain Silly Billy. I mean, uh. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh, Spiky. Oh. Oh, wait a minute, not so fast. Kagangari bristled and shook the red dust from her quills. Um, oh, <laughs> now I've been listening to all this advice and take it from me, for a munchy stew you need slugs, bugs and creepy crawlies. <laughs> oh, wow, why wouldn't I think of that? Oh, they sound delicious for my... Brewy, gooey stew. Right. So Echidna dug up all sorts of creepy crawlies and dropped them into the gooey, chewy, crunchy stew. Oh, there's a nice wasp for you and a bug dancing and oh, look at that lovely big witchy crab. <laughs> yes, lovely, lovely. Oh, and that's a mmm, delicious. <laughs> Don't worry. The very clever Murakai stirred and stirred all the while singing. Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Just then, the sleepy-eyed Kalawalan appeared from the scribbly gum tree. Kalawalan, what kind of animal is Kalawalan? What do you reckon? A koala. A koala. She's eating gum trees. 
She's got fluffy grey ears. She's a koala. Look here. Any bush cook knows to make a spicy stew. You need, you need. Captain Lucy, gum nuts. You need gum nuts. Oh, gum nuts. Trust a koala to think of gum nuts. Oh, right on, in they go. Marankai laughed and licked his paws. <laughs> and into the gooey, chewy, crunchy, munchy stew, uh, Kalawalan, already done it, threw lots and lots of gum nuts in. Wombat stew. Wombat, wombat stew. stew. Gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy wombat stew. Oh, righto, now there's only one more thing that my gooey, brewy, chewy stew needs. Well, what's what? that? The lazy wombat. Wait! Oh, stop! Oh, you, hold on a minute. Just, you can't put the wombat into the stew yet. Oh, why not? You haven't tasted it. Yeah, you yeah, haven't you tasted, tasted it. Yeah, you haven't tasted it. You haven't tasted it. I just need to taste it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And right that very clever Murunkai bent over the billy and took a great big slurp of wombat stew. Oh, no. He howled. I've been poisoned. <laughs> and he dashed away deep into the bush, never again to sing wombat stew, wombat stew. afternoon from Newcastle. I hope you guys have a very good day. Bye.